Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Got a quick one for you today. We're going to learn how to play Free Fallen by Tom Petty. So this one's going to be in standard tuning, but you need to put a capo at the first fret. So that'll get you in the right key there, and that's how they play it. So now we have Tom Petty's part, and then we have the, uh, the basically the lead guitarist part where he plays those high triads uh, to accompany. So, and we basically just have that section, which goes for 90% of the song, and then we have that uh, a quick little uh, bridge section. So, let's take a look at it here. Now, the chords, how Tom Petty is going to be playing, is just basically the, I'm comparing everything to the capo, okay? So, um, this is an E major chord, is what I'm going to call it. Now, technically, it's an F major because of the capo, but I'm comparing everything to the capo, so it makes it easier to understand. So, we have an E major chord. <laughs> And then move this over to an A suspended second, which is just like an A major chord, except you're going to have an open B string. And you're going to strum from the fifth string across. We have this. All six strings, then the fifth string across, then that chord again, back down to the E. And then we're going to go to this, which basically it's a C chord, but it's really a B chord here uh, compared to the capo. That's the second fret here on the the uh, A string, four on the D and the G. I know it's weird calling that. You see those fret markers there. Then you have the open B and high E string. We have this. So he's just repeating that for most of the song. Now sometimes he'll just hit each one once like that, just in the intro. But sometimes he's just strumming, like in a chorus. A nice, easy, kind of eighth note down up feel. You're not going to hit the strings every time. You just need to feel that rhythm and follow along with just a, a down up rhythm that's very consistent. Now, the layers that are on top of it sound like this. All right, so this is, looks like a D major chord, but basically four frets up from the capo. All right, so we have that. Just those three strings, and then add the pinky at one fret higher on, on basically the fifth fret here, on the A string, and then hit that again, back down to the D shape. And then we're gonna do this, which is gonna be uh, starting at the second fret on the high E, second fret up from the capo. And then four frets up on the capo on the B and the G. So we have this. So that goes with this part. All right, now we have a little bridge section. It sounds like this. Alright, so that's just a little power chords. We're gonna have um, open low E string, second fret up on the capo on the A string. And then you slide into the power chord on those same two strings, five frets up from the capo. Slide back down to the open power chord. And then now this time, seven frets up from the capo. We're back. So it just briefly does that chord progression and then we're back to the main chord progression which is most of the song. Alright, so that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.